Hey guys, how are we doing today? Death by Bunny here. Hope you're all okay today. Uh, what I wanted to do today is just make a short video on where to find some of the, the best guns in Fallout 4. One of which is right where you start. You walk past it on your way out. I don't know if many of you saw this, but there, there's two ways you can get this. And I'll walk you through both of them. So all you need to do is just come back to Vault 11. Well, 111, sorry. You can return anytime you like. You just have to stand on the elevator and it'll bring you back down. And then once you're back down here, all you want to do is go through, uh, back into the overseer's office, where you open the tunnel to escape when you first started your save. So just in here. And then when you get to the overseer where he's dead on the floor, what you want to do is look directly right and you'll see a room here. This door will be open, but this box here will be locked. And it will have a master lock on it, so you'll either have to level up your locksmith or there's another way you can get it out. It may be patched soon because I'm assuming that the game designers didn't want it so that one of the best guns in the game could be got through a very simple glitch instead of having to level up that lock picking, which I, I imagine is what they intended for you to do. But what you can do is bring dog meat down here and if you sort of stand around this area with dog meat, all you need to do is say fetch and he'll do what he normally does, he'll sniff about and then he'll bark and then he'll little message will come up on the top left hand side saying dog meat has found something he'll run in there and then he'll glitch out and he'll bite the gun the cry later through the box and he'll pick it straight up so you drop it on the floor for you no need to level up your locksmithing but i imagine that is going to be patched out pretty soon because the game designers aren't going to want it so you can get the gun that easy because it is amazing it's easily one of the coolest guns I've used in the game and um, I mean I've already been through all my first playthroughs smashed out both sides of the campaign the Institute and the Brotherhood and now I'm going back through on a, a hardcore save just so I can experience all the side missions and stuff like that and have an idea of the game and know what's going on so I can make some videos for you guys as well but this is the basic look of the gun so it looks really rustic and cool sort of it's definitely as old as we are you know that it's it looks fantastic so what we'll do is we'll take it and then I'll jump us somewhere where we can shoot people and we'll go from there okay so now we're back at sanctuary it's the uh, it was the closest point to the vault so I figured we'd just come here and, and show off the gun plus I'm not really a fan of my settlement they're all uh, they're all too demanding for my liking so we'll go over and take a shot at this guy over here and then as you can see what it does is it literally just freezes him you can still move slowly but it's as if he's in that slow sort of thing and um, as you can see it's got a very very fast fire rate and then he falls over frozen I believe he's now dead nope he's still alive let's go find someone else to shoot at but yeah this gun is is totally awesome the ammo can be quite scarce for it um, and when you do find it it's quite expensive but it's just a case of finding it really reload my settlements rising against me now people are so ungrateful kill one of you and you will kick off so yeah what we're going to do now is we'll jump over and take a look at how to get the alien blaster next which was a classic in Fallout 3 and thankfully they brought it back into this game except this time they've made it a little bit more bit more interesting to get hold of as opposed to in Fallout 3 so we'll jump over and get that next. So next on the list is the Alien Blaster. As I said, this was in Fallout 4, uh, Fallout 3 as well, and it was fantastic in that game. It was one of the coolest guns I personally fought, and thankfully they've brought it back into this one as well, so we can get hold of it again. What you need to do is come to this point on the map here. So just on your right across the river, you've got the Crane... Cambridge Polymer Labs and then you're just on this little island here as you can see and then what you want to do is as you come out your map if you just look around you'll see that it'll all be clear on all sides and then you'll have a side with fire and what you want to do is go towards this little crater fire bit here and you'll see the alien ship just smashed into the ground there like so and once again I'll just show you where that is up on the map so we're just here just right or left sorry of Cambridge Polymer Labs so you just need to come to this point here and you'll be good to go once you get here 
the alien itself in the blaster isn't at the UFO, so you can just sort of take a look around. You don't get any radiation or anything like that, like you did in Fallout 3, but you'll notice there's a big pile of blood splatter on the floor. I originally missed this and thought that they put the ship in and not the game, and then it was only when I came past a second time I realised that if you follow the blood trail, and it leads just up, you see blood splatter smeared all over the place, and it all leads in one direction, so you want to be coming out the ditch, and then just following it along like so and then you'll see a bit on the wall there and then it goes a bit further down and then you see on the floor on the log and then it leads into this cave part here so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the cave and it will load in it's, it isn't sort of a straight walk into the cave it is a load in zone so once you're in here you'll see blood splatter and it will all be sort of uh, ominous and then you'll see Mr Alien over there like so not looking too good level one creature and then all you need to do is you do have to kill him there is no other way to get it without killing him and my bats is destroyed him with my minigun and then we'll just come over to him and then alien blaster rifle pistol sorry there we go so damage is 55 before upgrading fire rate 100 range 119 accuracy 73 and the value is 1500 although why you'd want to sell this I do not know because it is a fantastic fantastic gun it destroys everything it's just one of the best guns in the game I personally think apart from the the cryolator which is my favorite at the moment uh, but yeah so what I'll do is I'll leave it here then guys thanks for watching I hope these videos helped if you were like interested in getting those two guns and I'll see you next time as we adventure out into the wasteland once again. Cheers. Bye-bye, guys.